Hey, what's up you guys today? I have a spring denim lookbook. I've got four different pairs of spring jeans and I'm styling each one in two different ways for further inspiration. I hope you guys enjoy all of today's jeans are from today's sponsor Saks Fifth Avenue. This is one of my favorite resources for snagging my favorite denim jeans from my favorite brands. And one of the best ways to get a really great deal is during their friends and family sale that's going on right now. 25% off new arrivals. You can get some amazing savings off of these really high ticket items and a little hack. One of my favorite ways to shop the site. I go into my preferences within my Saks Fifth Avenue account. You're able to search all the brands they have on the site and designate your favorites that we want to go back to the jeans denim landing page. I could just select the filter, my designers and it automatically shows all of my favorite brands I sorted by newest and I can shop the best of the best and it's just one of my favorite ways to shop the sales. So the four new pairs that I'll be featuring in today's video are going to be the Goldie Riley crop jeans, the mother high-waisted hiker hubra jeans, the A. G. Mid-rise stretch skinny jeans and this gorgeous like faded olive color and then the redone 70s distressed high-rise ankle crop jeans. These four brands are some of my favorites. I'll link that for you guys down below. And on that note, let's get started. So first up we have the AG jeans, mid-rise stretch skinny jeans and the color sulfur calvary sage. Starting with our first look, this is the lighter option. I have a simple square. Next spaghetti strap white bodysuit. I took that into these jeans. That's really a nice mid-rise. It's not too high, not too low. It's got a contoured fit from the waistband all the way down the ankle. Like a very svelte legging gives you a really clean line with a nice full length in the inseam. I pair that with a white blazer on top. I think this is a really fresh clean look. The green is not like a deep, earthy green that you wear during the fall. It's got a lightness and brightness to it and it matches really well with all of your basic neutral colors. I topped off the accessories with some nice taupey beige. Pointy toed heels in my Celine bag. Second option, I went more casual and I also think these jeans look great with just pure black. I have a mock neck sleeveless crop top. These are fantastic for this transitional weather. The black color is a bolder edgier take on these bright green jeans and I paired that with some more sophisticated accessories. I paired the black top with some backless loafer mules with gold hardware in my Saint Laurent crossbody bag. All of the black and gold touches, I think give this casual outfit a very polished sophisticated touch. Moving on to pair number two, we have redone 70s distressed, high-rise ankle crop jeans, and I went warm neutrals with the first look. I have a simple brown rib tank top bodysuit and tucked it into these jeans. These jeans are really cool because they're very polished. They look nice and trouser-like, but they have this nice edgy slit in one of the knees to kind of break up all that white and give it more of a relaxed vibe. I tied everything together with a long, flowy trench coat in the same warm browns for a nice cohesive look. I love the trench coat, especially if it's already warmer where you're at because it's elegant, it's organic, it's flowy. It's polished enough to wear to the office as a top layer. And then I topped it off with some casual strappy sandals and my Givenchy mini Antico to bag the reversion to. I can never resist an all-white outfit for the spring or summer on the top. I have a really feminine, almost cream-colored frilly ruched bodice blouse. I love the puff sleeves. The little elasticized ripple edging. It's just kind of a period piece looking top and then of course I paired it with the same jeans and tied everything together with cream and brown accessories. I've got some like retro platform clogs with cream double bands. I have this old start bucket bag with some really cool netting and then this really elegant long hair scarf kind of ties the whole color scheme together with the white, the creams, the browns, all the warm neutrals for really ethereal spring outfit that I would wear all the time. And next we have the Agoldi Riley Crap Jeans. These are a nice light, powdery blue wash. I feel like it's really clean in the style in the wash. The first time styling is probably one of my favorite outfit combinations of all time. Just pairing it with the simple plain white tee, crew neck cap sleeves and then topping it off with your favorite blazer. Here have an old oversized flowy crepe black blazer with tortoise shell buttons. The workwear professional aesthetic will always be a part of my core style. I love the feeling of being able to run a meeting in an instant, but I feel like these jeans in particular are the most universally versatile for all of your casual and
dressed up options. The fact that these have finished hems, they have a very subtle wash that doesn't have any rips, tears. Distressing, no overly whiskered fading like it's just a great classic pair that you can wear all the time. The high waist and the shape and the clean kind of like tapered straight leg. It's one of my favorite styles for petites too, so I feel like you get an immense use out of these pair. I also finished it with some of my favorite classic black business professional accessories. I've got some pointy toed pumps and then my black Givenchy small anti in a bag. And the second way of styling it is another menswear kind of spin-off. I'm doing a relaxed casual, very spring appropriate outfit here. I have a simple ribbed kind of cropped white tank top. You can sub this in for any plain white tank. You don't have to make it cropped like this, but I topped it off with this really cool, light color block, striped duo color menswear shirt in this nice oversized, relaxed fit. I love it tucked in for a really casual like blouse, but you can also wear as an overshirt. It's just kind of 90s reminiscent with a nice light. Crispy shirt for the warm spring weather and you've got a layer touch while still sticking with light total light blues. I'm obsessed I finished it off with some white pointy toed mules and a white mini bag. And last but not least, we have the mother high waisted hiker hover jeans. These are my favorite jeans, postpartum because they are so soft, so stretchy and they're all about comfort first and they just have really unique styles. So I'm actually styling both of these very casually for these last two looks first outfit. I'm starting off with a very simple spring knit sweater. This one has a crochet touch with all of the holes. It's light. It's breezy but still nice and cozy. A great transitional sweater and then I paired that with one of my favorite outerwear pieces for spraying a military jacket. The army green color is a nice, earthy neutral. It's a very casual jacket that's fuller length than some of the cropped options I normally wear and I really like, just like the juxtaposition between the sweet feminine sweater and kind of like the rugged military style jacket. I finish everything off with a big tote. If you're running errands, you're busy mama, you get it, and then some white sneakers and for walking around. And then lastly for a darker option, I've got just a fun. Big graphic tee jeans and a t-shirt. You can never beat it. Um, this was just an old one from my closet, nice and oversized, nice punchy colors and then I topped it off with another favorite staple in my closet. The faux leather jacket. This one has a way more casual touch with philosophy size band on the bottom, the extra hoodie lining. I mean it's a really cute option that's also edgy and tough. Love the shinier finish compared to the denim and the graphic tee and then I finished off with a little black mini purse and the same sneakers. Alright guys, that is it for today's lookbook again. Everything mentioned in today's video will be down below the description box along with the details of the Saks, 5th Avenue Friends and Family event going on. 25% off new arrivals. Be sure to check out the denim pieces, any investment items, beauty jewelry, clothes, check it out and get some great savings. Thank you guys so much for your time today, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.